This family has had bears in their backyard for more than 91 years, and what they do with them will surprise you. Having pets around is great for health, and it makes things around the house light and peppy. Dogs make great pets, sometimes cats do too. People keep birds, tortoises, and fishes as pets. Some people go out of the league a little and have spiders, chameleons, lizards, and the likes as pets. But then there are those daring few who become one with nature by keeping wolves, tigers, and lions with them. The loving nature of these wild animals shows that even though they are out in the ruggedness, they are capable of affection and beneath all the hard exterior crave for attention. However, you might not have yet heard of people keeping a big brown wild bear in their backyard, and even if you had, what this family has in their backyard would defeat all of your conceptions of ideal pets. Pets are the best companions. They get super excited when you are in a good mood and silently listen to your grievances being your best cuddle partners. They have become such an integral part of our daily lives that it is hard to imagine an existence without them. They are like a family member who is always there, always waiting for you to give them love and attention and reciprocate it. There are people who keep generations of animal families in their families. It's like families of two different species are connected for generations, and that bond is more special than any other. This is true for the family in this story too. So the people who are into exotic pets are of the opinion that dogs and cats as pets are completely obvious, and we do not agree with them. But we gotta accept that there is a slightly higher cool quotient involved when people keep an animal like the bearded dragon as a pet. Then there is the sugar glider, also called sugar baby, which can, well, really stink, but people do keep them because they are cute. Why do people keep tarantulas, hissing cockroaches, skunks, or a Burmese python as pets? There is no knowing, but maybe they literally like living on the edge. Okay, the hedgehog is kind of a cute choice, but these exotic pets come with exotic attitudes too. So the kinkajou could pass as a crossbreed between a monkey, a raccoon, and a weasel. But it is related to none, and the thing is, they don't like noises. So for the noisy humans, this is not the animal to go for. Because if perturbed, it is capable of making your house a mess. Fennec Fox looks like it could be a Pokemon, but for one thing, they abhor captivity, and they are not really fans of humans. The list does not stop here. There are more quirky and peculiar choices of pets that people make, which are at the least confounding, and the only question that comes to the mind when we see them is, why though? Wallabies are like a baby, baby kangaroos, but a lot more finicky, bouncy, and require a lot of space. And even though squirrel monkeys might appear to be the ideal pet, they tend to fight for the alpha status. So if you are not careful enough, they will be the ones petting you. These animals can be dangerous, but not nearly as much as the one which this family kept in the backyard. How would you react if you woke up and found a bear in your backyard? While trying to hold your breath, you would probably collect all your belongings and make a run from your front door. But this family wakes up to a yard full of bears, daily, and they don't seem to mind it much. Brown bears are usually called grizzlies because, well, even though they are dangerous, they look potentially real cuddly. That's where the term grizzly bear comes from. They are usually found in most places in Europe, the US, and Canada, and prefer the deep forest habitat and mostly like feeding on berries and fruits. However, if they are too hungry, male bears are known to eat even their young ones. Yeah, extreme. They can weigh up to 700 pounds and the females can weigh 350 pounds. Why are you being given facts about bears? Because a family in Florida kept them in their backyard not just one or two, or even five. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now back to the story. Wildlife belongs in the wild. That is what most humans believe. But it is also humans who are responsible for the loss and depletion of wildlife. 
we have grazed down forests to build houses and malls, and consequently, a lot of animals have lost their natural habitat. So is it really wrong for a family to keep bears in their backyard? The more important question is how did they even come to raising bears and how did they tame them, if at all? The story is of a family in Florida and it goes back almost a century. The first time a bear came into their family. Since then, the bear family in their backyard has only grown. Monica, one of the owners said, our daily interaction with our bears is communication, loving, petting, and they thrive on that physical contact. However, she continued, we never forget that they are bears. They are bears first, even though we share our lives with them, we respect them for what they are and we want them to live like a bear. And that is why we built the Paradise Ranch, Monica said. The bears get all the diet they need. They are healthy and happy and very comfortable with the Weld family. Lucy and Tootsie are eight-year-old female bears and the really cute bear on top of the stone is Misha. She is one of Kanai's sisters and is five years old. Johnny the Fourth said, to us, they are very safe they are not keen on strangers, which is understandable. We have raised them so. To us, they are very, very sweet. The fact that the bears adapted to and loved the Weld family is proof that no matter how strong or dangerous an animal is, it always responds to love and attention. And Monica and Johnny the Fourth made sure that there was no Darth of that. These are Fred and Ginger. They are both 23 years old, European brown bears. Johnny the Fourth said. We had both of their parents and their siblings, and when they were born, they could fit in the palm of your hand. My mom hand raised both of these from cubs. Fred weighs around 800 pounds and Ginger weighs 400 pounds. A full grown male, healthy bear weighs around 700 pounds and female around 350 pounds. Fred's weight is the proof that the family is taking good care of the bears. It is quite astounding how something which is so small at birth can grow up to be potentially one of the most destructive forces in the world. Monica Weld said, here at Paradise Ranch, our bears have a natural habitat where they can come out and enjoy. They have a spring-fed pond. We have pools, grass, trees. My husband and I thought that it would be nice for the bears to just live like a bear. What's respect worthy is that the Weld family has not kept the bears in confinement or limited spaces. The bears have ample natural space. Adopting bears is not as easy as adopting a dog or a cat. The Weld family is licensed to adopt bears. By converting their backyard into a bear friendly environment, the Weld family have proven their worth to be able to take care of these wild beasts. Keeping animals in confinement means robbing them of their natural habitat and restricting their movement. The Weld family have especially gone out of their way to make the bears feel one with nature. They also take care to provide them with a good diet and loving environment. The Welds are certified professional trainers who have trained their bears over the years. What's impressive is that the bears have responded as well. If Monica or Johnny the Fourth asks them for a kiss, they take their tongues out or pout and kiss their lovely caretakers. Johnny the Fourth has also trained them to control their food habits. They understand basic commands like stay, sit, stand. It is like having a big bear dog who is a good boy. But understanding these basic commands is not the coolest thing about these bears. Chances are you have seen them somewhere. Since the time the Weld family started keeping bears, many of them have appeared in various Walt Disney movies. So if you come across a bear in a Disney movie, remember that it is not special effects or a random shot of some wild bear. Chances are, it is one of the grizzlies from the Paradise Ranch. The bears have also been trained for various TV shows. Their learning and understanding have really made it easy for directors to shoot them but Monica or Johnny are always present to command them. My bears have never attacked anybody. We never had any incident with the public or with ourselves, said Monica Weld. It is amazing how this family got these wild beasts to love and respect all humans, even though they are not comfortable with strangers. All their food, mate, and love requirements are fulfilled in the Paradise Ranch, 
so they need not attack any human or other animals for that matter. But Monica herself does have some scars. In response to the question whether she herself has been attacked by any of her bears or not, Monica said, I do have a few scars on me from their claws. That is natural. They are very powerful animals. However, she went on to say, they'll lick us and kiss us and hug us and touch us. I have worked with bears for 37 years and I have all my fingers, so it's a good track record. Not taking the marks giving these animals as a sign of their savagery and being practical about it is what has kept Monica going. When Monica was asked to comment on some people's belief that bears should not be in human care, she replied, I am sure there's people out there that say you shouldn't have a bear in human care, they should be in the wild. What do I have to say to people like that? First of all, the wild is disappearing. There are so many people on this planet, we are taking all the resources from the animals, all their habitats are shrinking. All of what Monica is saying is true, however, she went on to make more valid points. Monica continued, six out of eight species of bears on the planet are threatened and endangered. Are my bears safer here with me than in the wild? I would say so. I have spent 37 years of my life with bears, and as long as I am physically able to, I will work with bears till I grow very old. And I feel very confident that they will be taken care of after I am gone. We didn't see it ending with my husband's death, so we are going to continue the Weld family legacy and keep the Paradise Ranch thriving. The bears have ample natural space in the Paradise Ranch. They also have accessibility to the pool, so they can be found rolling around in the grass after a dip in the water or simply goofing with each other. However, seeing Johnny and Monica every day and playing and spending time with them is the highlight of their day. The love, attention, and cuddle they get from these members of their family is irreplaceable. Some people might object to this domestication of wild animals, but the truth is the Weld family doesn't force it on them. The bears respond to their love. Surprising, right? It might seem like an easy and light task to be looking after a family of bears, but imagine having to feed and bathe 400 to 1,000 pound creatures daily. It is a humongous task and a lot for just two people to take care of. Johnny IV actually gave up an academic career just to look after the bears. For him, the family legacy holds more importance and he plans to take full responsibility of Paradise Ranch even after his mother. In times when humans are clearing out forests and killing bears for their skins, the Weld family has taken upon them to save and nurture as many bears as they physically can. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.